Oh, hey guys, it's Mr. Toidle in the house. Welcome to Mr. Toidle's Conspiratorial Tutorials, in a nutshell. Never before has a conspiracy theory gone so far mainstream as a curious case of Jeffrey Epstein. Quick recap, Epstein is the guy who would lure very powerful people to his pedo island and secretly film them in compromising situations. His ties with various intelligence agencies suggest this was a scheme to blackmail high-profile individuals. Bill Clinton was on board Epstein's famous Lolita Express at least 26 whopping times. Upon taking a closer look at Epstein's dealings, it becomes clear that he was merely a pawn and that the real power belonged to his girlfriend, Ghislaine Ghislaine. How do you pronounce that name? Let's just call her Jizz for now. In order to fully understand Epstein, we need to follow the trail of Jizz. Her father was Robert Maxwell. If you don't know who he is, I suggest you look him up. Basically, Epstein was recruited by Jizz to follow in her father's footsteps. As to what really happened to Epstein, most of us think he was suicided or faked his own death, perhaps with the help of his beloved Jizz. I mean, nobody believes Epstein committed suicide using dozens of orange jumpsuits and the cameras just happened to die the moment he switched off and the guards conveniently took a nap and his cellmate was this guy. I mean, he looks like a nice dude. I mean, apart from him committing a quadruple homicide. But well, we all make mistakes, right? Anyways, forgive and forget. I can really picture the powers that be shaking in their boots once they realized that the plebs weren't eating up their bull poopy. Then George Soros emerged from the shadows and said, It's time to release the coronavirus. Take care of yourselves, people. Coronavirus is going to kill us all.